Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, just uh, really proud of our team and our staff uh, for just, uh, you know, responding um, the way they did. You know, really just a great win for us. Uh, you saw the heart and the toughness and the fight of our team and our staff. You know, it's uh, um, you know difficult place to go win and, and uh, to see us respond like that. I was really, really proud of that. And not only that, to see – <clears throat> two of our six-year seniors, the only two we got, uh, really kind of set the tone for the game and uh, with Maskell and causing the fumble and then XT picking one up as well. Uh, but, you know, the guys just, uh, you know, did a great job. Uh, again, you're, you're playing a top 10 scoring offense and top 10 scoring defense, undefeated uh, team on the road, their place, coming off an excruciating loss. Uh, just really proud of our of our team and uh, again the staff as well <clears throat> for uh, finding a way to win and and, uh, and we did we did so many good things when it comes to our plan to win as far as big plays and you know obviously winning the turnover margin if we can create some consistency and and being even or winning the margin I think I think we can create some momentum uh, within our season that's been a huge thing for us and uh, just really. Uh, you know, proud of what I saw. We had a little bit of adversity late, and, and uh, it was good to see our, us respond to the adversity within the game uh, as well. So, so many good things. A lot of great individual, uh, you know, performances by some some players. Uh, defensively, again, another great. This, this offense was you know 500 yards a game and top 10 in scoring offense, and <clears throat> to hold them to 281 and 2.9 a carry. Uh, but but especially this quarterback who who rushed for 100 on us last year. We held him to 1.6 a carry. That was something I was really concerned about. Um, and we, we we disrupted and dominated the line of scrimmage, obviously created the turnovers, uh, which which led to points. It was really, you know, good. It's really good to see the complimentary football. Uh, so just really, uh, you know, proud of how they competed. Certainly some things that we can clean up. We had one little bad series, three or four bad plays in a row. And, you um, uh, had a, had a had a critical bust uh, on the tight end down in the red zone, and uh, but a lot of things we can we can keep improving upon. But you know, all in all, a good team win. And same thing offensively. Um, you know, their top ten scoring defense and their philosophy coming into the game as we settled into the game was they 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 were going to just you know pressure us and uh, challenge us to beat them with the passing game, and uh, we were able to do that. You know, so really proud of. Uh, how Cade played, I thought he was outstanding. Uh, just had some huge, huge uh, plays in the game and uh, some big scrambles versus the pressure. It was another very good third down game, 8-16, of 16, and, and then we converted off the turnovers into points. So, again, good complimentary football. Um, you know, had, had some individuals, same thing, play really well, uh, but definitely some things we can clean up. Had too many negative plays, a uh, couple sacks, <clears throat> some penalties. Uh, obviously had the miss there, there, down in the red zone. Uh, so, uh, and then special teams, uh, you know, another solid day. I think our punt team has been really good for us. I mean, the, the two yards of return, Aiden has continues to do a nice job. Robert, six touchbacks. Aiden uh, White's, uh, it was good to see him make make a kick, one for two there, and continue to create some confidence. So, a lot of good things, a good team win, and, again, a tough place uh, to go play. Um, and so I'm proud of our guys to, and, and again, how they responded. Um, and, uh, so hopefully we can, uh, get back at it tomorrow and see if we can find a way to win one this week. <clears throat> Injury wise, our guys, we came through the game in pretty good shape. Um, uh, hopefully we'll get, uh, you know, Nate back and maybe Antonio. We'll see what happens, uh, as we work them out pretty extensively tomorrow. <clears throat> Hey, Coach, it's Trevor from CUTigers.com. Um, your 100th regular season conference win, tying legendary Frank Howard. Um, only Bob, Bobby Bowden has more ACC regular season wins with 117. But how, how proud are you of, of accomplishing that? And not only that, but to do it on the road uh, against an undefeated team. Well, I mean, it, it's that's a great uh, uh, team achievement. I mean, you know, it's, I've been fortunate to to – you know, be here now in my 15th year and, and just a lot of great players and a lot of great coaches. And, 
you know, it's certainly a blessing uh, to, to be able to be a part of something like that for sure. And uh, it's not really something you kind of set out to do, but um, you, know, you just kind of put your head down, go to work every day. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a blessing to be a part of it, but a credit to a lot of people, man, a lot of people, a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches and a lot of sport staff and all those things. And, and, uh, and a great, you know, uh, administration all these years as well. So, um, you know, it's great, but just really happy to get the win, you know, and, and um, <clears throat> just pick ourselves up from, a, again, a, a tough one uh, against Florida State and see if we can, uh, you know, cut out some of the mistakes. And it was just uh, – it was just I was just really proud, really proud to see them play. Um, they, they – the way they've been playing, but to, to cut out the – to win the turnover margin uh, was – was just what we needed. Yeah, uh, Larry Williams, uh, what was your overall evaluation of the guard positions yesterday? I uh, saw you worked in Trent Howard and uh, and Harris Sewell in there behind Mitchell and and Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, they 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 played pretty good. Except I thought Mitchell probably had his worst game. Um, you know, he he's he he can play a lot better and will play better and has played better. But he he uh, he got he got caught on some spin moves a few times and and uh, got himself in trouble, you know, not playing you know with his hands like he needs to. And so he he probably had his worst game, but but he he's uh, much better than that, and again has has played better. But I, I thought Trent I, I thought Trent played well, and uh, we thought Harris Sewell uh, played well. He had a you know snap wise we kind of put him in. I think we had two three and outs. Uh, it's kind of limited his reps as far as how we were rotating those guys. But it's good to get him in there early. You know, we, we like the depth um, and, uh, you know, Trent, Trent's got some length to him. Uh, he's a pretty good athlete in there and uh, did some good things. And again, same thing with, with Harris, you know, he, he can cover him up. And he's where he's a guy, a young guy we're <clears throat> super excited about uh, for sure. So, you know, Tate, uh, Tate played well. Uh, we actually, you know, did a pretty good job. Uh, most of their pressure was just, you know, blitz stuff where just unblocked guys uh, we actually held up pretty good and then Cade did a great job of scrambling but uh, Mitchell had his worst day he had, he had two sacks and again just did not did not handle the spin move very well uh, <clears throat> and then uh, but he'll uh, he'll improve and get back on track this week but we like the depth we like it we like what we're seeing from those guys and how they're competing thought our tackles played well uh, you know, all, all three of those guys, Blake and, and Tristan and, and Sadler, continue to, to compete and, and be very consistent for us. Hey, Coach, it's David Hood. Kind of piggybacking <laughs> off of that. It, just in person, it looked like maybe there were some struggles early in, in the run blocking. Pass pro, uh, you know, pretty good, but but run blocking. Was that more what Syracuse was doing, or do you think yeah. it just kind of took a little bit of uh, time there to, to get them going? No, it's definitely what what Syracuse was doing. I mean, their their plan was I mean, pretty early on. We we knew exactly how how this thing was. You know, we rushed for three twenty seven last year on these guys, and so pretty early on, we knew that hey, you know, they're going to run blitz us all night here. And uh, you know, we we which was kind of good. We hung in there and got just enough in the run, but you know, they had some unblocked guys and some run blitzes and some things off the edge, and so we we knew we were going to have to throw the football. And uh, they were challenging us to do that, and we did. You know, we hit some big plays down the field. We we attacked. We hit some. We hit a couple of big double moves, um, and um, you know. But I think that was their mindset. I think that became pretty apparent. But I, I, watching the tape, I actually felt really good about you know how, what, how we did uh, outside of just a few plays here or there. <clears throat> um, uh, we we uh, most of the issues were again just. Uh, you know, some unblocked guys that, that uh, even on the, the past stuff, you know, a couple of the scrambles, the touchdowns to Lotto was a corner cat. You know, we got it, we got it protected perfect, but you know, you don't, you can't block everybody. And, uh, you know, they played a good bit of cover zero on us and we're bringing more than we could pick up. And again, challenging us to make some plays. And we did, uh, we hit a couple of big screens. We, we hit some plays down the field. Uh, we attacked and got some PIs uh, and then, and then Cade made them pay with his legs. Um, you know, he was able to create some, some big plays running for first, but also throwing for him none bigger than the, the corner cat. He made it, he made the guy miss. He saw it, uh, avoided him and threw the touchdown to Stilato. So, um, <clears throat> it was, uh, 
it was definitely, I think, a, a, the, an effort on their part to to try to you know mitigate our our run game and and uh, see if we could you know beat them throwing it. Hey, coach, it's Trevor again. That was a nice little play uh, to Stilato before halftime. He got out of bounds uh, to stop the clock with three seconds left, get you a little closer for Whites. I know you missed the kick, but got to be pleased with your clock management there and and winning the middle eight. Yeah, that was an actually that was a very good drive. Uh, it was an excellent drive and and good clock management to give ourselves a chance. You know, we knew you know we'd have to maybe pop a big one to have a chance for a touchdown, but we we definitely wanted to have a shot at a field goal. And, Really good by Stilato. We had a timeout, so we we didn't think we'd gotten a timeout for sure, but a great effort on his part to just have good awareness and get the ball out of bounds. Deba, this is Chapel with the State. Um, what's your evaluation of Adam Randall so far this season? Uh, inconsistent. Um, you know, just just um, you know, kind of kind of inconsistent would be my my biggest thing right now, and. You know, still trying to uh, – he hasn't had quite as much opportunity, so some of it's not his fault, but but just a little inconsistent and uh, just got to get him to – just got to get him to cut it loose. I mean, this kid's a – this kid is a great talent and a great player and um, just need a little bit more consistency, um, you know, from him in, in a couple areas. <clears throat> this is Larry again. Uh, continuing on that theme, I think I remember Garrett saying – at his last uh, visit with us with on Randall that he was trying to get him to maybe play faster. I was just curious for your uh, maybe more insight into that. Yeah, just inconsistent with, you know, having his motor running all the time. You know, that, I think that's just the biggest thing uh, with him. I mean, when his, when his motor's running, he's a handful. Uh, as you saw in the first PI, I mean, he ran right by the guy. And then, um, you know, sometimes he'll, 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 he'll ooze a little bit and we just got to get him to, to consistently cut it loose because when he does, he's, he's, he is, a, he's a problem. Uh, so just still a young player, you know, developing and maturing and, you know, no different than a guy like Stilato who's having success, but, you know, he's in his third year and has, you know, been sitting on the sideline for two years and uh, he's excited. So here's a, here's a guy that's you know, still, still a relatively young player uh, coming off an ACL last year and, playing his way back into into the groove and still trying to, I think, fully, you know, figure it out and get his confidence where it needs to be. But the um, main thing is just playing at the tempo that we need him to play at all, all the time. I saw Tink out there. Is he? Did uh, Antonio's injury change your thinking <clears throat> on him? Or are you still trying to, trying to redshirt Tink? Yeah, yeah, same thing. We're just – we've got, you know, a couple more games that we can use him. Um, so, we're we're just needed him this week for sure. He'd only played in one game, you know, coming into this one. He missed one due to injury. And, um, so, he's got two more. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor again. Um, Bo Collins had the big touchdown and, and drew a couple um, critical pass interferences. On, on that second drive, though, um, did he stop his route short there, or was that some sort of miscommunication? Uh, I'm trying to think what you're talking about. On the on, uh, on, on your second possession, it was a three and out, and, and Cade overthrew him, or uh, it looked oh, like he Oh, no, no, that, that, was, that, was, that was a minus on Cade. Uh, you know, we Cade should have come – he, he should have come – that was a little double move, but they went cover two, and, and uh, he's got to come. He's got to come to six on that play on the win route, and um, <clears throat> it was just a the ball shouldn't have been there at all. You know, it was just a, that was a miss on Cade. Gotcha. Thanks. They we they caught we we went on a double move, and, and and we they went cover two there, and that was you know so when you see that on that play, you gotta you gotta come off of it. And he just and he hung on to it, and he should have come right away to to number six, and he'd have had a nice play. So. Uh, that was that was a minus for Cade. He didn't have many, but that was that was one of them uh, early in the game. But man, Bo's playing great. You know, he's a, he's a handful. Had a huge third down catch as well across the middle. Uh, you know, drew a couple of PIs and obviously the double move touchdown was an elite elite route uh, by Bo. And uh, you know, so just just uh, just great to see us execute. You know, we knew again the style of play. They were going to be very aggressive. They were very jumpy. And uh, you know we 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 knew early on we were going to have to attack downfield and double move and 
and Caden was going to have to escape and make some plays with his legs. So uh, it was good to see uh, come to fruition. Hey, Coach, David Hood again. Talking to Tyler Brown after the game, he's just so calm, uh, even in an interview and very well-spoken. And then I even asked him, I said, do you, you know, do you have a nickname, something that you go by? And he's like, just TB. That, that's all I am. I'm just TB. Puts on his glasses, doesn't really look like a football player. Is that part of what makes him successful, is that he's kind of just got that really even-keeled personality? Well, I, th- I, I would just call that maturity. Uh, I just think he's a very mature kid, and that definitely is a part of what makes him successful as a young player. He's he's uh, he's just got a level of maturity that you don't see in many freshmen. Um, and I think that's just, a, you know, who he is, how he's been raised. And, um, you know, that, that's – that's. I mean, I've, we've had a lot of really, really, really talented players, but the maturity doesn't quite it, – it's not quite where the talent is at just yet. And uh, he's a guy that's just just one of the more mature freshmen we've had. And uh, you never know till you start coaching a guy, you know, where they are and how they're going to uh, translate, you know, the meeting room uh, and all that goes into it to the practice field, to the game field, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, he's just been a natural – I mean, he's just, a, as we saw in camp, and, and it's been fun to see him, you know, blossom before our eyes. I mean, as I mean, we we, we got, a, again, a last year's class, this year's class. We got a lot of guys, some guys you've seen, some guys you haven't seen that you will um, over, you know, this year, next year that that, that I just think are, are outstanding young players. Uh, but, man, TB's is – is uh is just as steady and as mature a freshman as we've had, and then you throw in the fact that he's got uh, elite ball skills. You know that's the other thing. You know you never really know. You start coaching a guy. Uh, you know that's probably been the one thing. You know we really we knew he could really really run, um, but I did not know, you know just just how elite his ball skills are. You know good ball skills you can see that, but again day in and day out. Um, you know where you seeing him every single day. He's a, he's a he plays with a lot. He's not a he's not a tall kid, but he plays really long. He plays with a lot of extension. Uh, he's got great contact balance and, and collision balance, and, and can and can really uh, he's got a good feel for the game uh, with the ball in his hands. And so uh, it's been fun, man. It's been fun to watch him blossom. And and uh, you know glad he's just a freshman. Going to be around here a while, uh, and uh, super excited. And we don't you know we. We had what four starters out uh, last yesterday, uh, so uh, it's exciting to see you know what's going on at receiver with Bo and and uh, uh, you know Antonio and obviously he hadn't even been out there and now now six is coming in here and just a lot of what he's doing and man we're super excited about you know the potential of Adam he's still got to turn the potential into performance but we're we we know what he can do and and eventually and then uh, Cole Turner uh, we think is going to be a star. And, um, you know, he's he's obviously going to be on the shelf again this year. And so that's disappointing. But we got a good group coming together, a couple of great recruits coming in and uh, really excited about, you know, where we are, you know, with that room and, and, and at quarterback. Uh, we're super excited about obviously Cade and his what he what you're seeing from him and um, CV, you know, where he's getting better every day. He's learning, he's growing, he's red shirting. And so we uh, we like our roster. And and but that room is there's a lot to be encouraged, encouraged about uh, what we got on the on the team right now and we're holding we're we're playing Ronan uh, and hopefully as the year goes you'll see him get a little opportunity as well and then we're trying to hold Noble who physically uh, is super super gifted uh, but he's one that you know just needed to mature a little bit you know from a from a uh, uh, you know just a, a a football standpoint you know and. and transitioning from the meeting room to the game field and and all that we need him to do so um you know we're able to hopefully be able to redshirt him this year Debo Larry again stayed on Tyler you said you you never really know until you see him out there how remarkable is it I guess in back-to-back years with him and Antonio you've had two receivers who haven't come in uh, mid-year and who've come in over the summer and sort of immediately stood out well, I used to be where it was all the time, you know. I mean, that was the norm, uh, you know, so a little different. But, um, you know, used to, that was 
It was it was always that way. Um, you know, Travis Etienne showed up in the summer, <laughs> and it was just kind of the so kind of the norm. Chris, you know, I could go on and on and on about you know guys that, that didn't get here until the summer and turned out to be great players. But I know the mid year thing it seems to be more of a norm now. But um, you know that's why we recruited them. You know that's why we made the decision to offer those guys. I mean, we 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 felt you know really good about them and and um, you know we've got a process that we go through and how we evaluate. We're convicted on that, and and uh, it's good to see them. You know, producing. Um, and, you know, again, Antonio's just a sophomore, so uh, we've got a, we've got a really good group uh, that's going to continue to develop into a handful. You know, as we as we progress and mature. Um, you know, super excited about what we're doing on that side of the ball. And only one senior on that offensive line. Um, that's it on the whole side, you know, uh, unless somebody decides to, to leave early or something. We we uh, we got a great group this year and, and coming back. Hey, Coach Sweeney, Ross Martin with uh, Clemson 247. You've uh, had a little sample size here on your defense. You seem very high on, on the defensive unit. What does it take to get to that next level, um, the defense, to make it a lead or, or get to where you really want it to be for the rest of the season? Well, I think, you know, the biggest thing is just red zone defense. we gotta, we got to cut some of those touchdowns into field goals. I think that that can win a game for us somewhere down the stretch uh, as we go. You know, we, we had the wheel route. Um, Trotter just – he just – instead of, you know, keeping his eyes on his guy, he looked back. And when you look back, it creates separation in the coverage. Um, so – but just just red zone, you know, defense, and what I mean in particular by that is just, you know, touchdowns. We got to convert a couple of those into field goals um, or field goal attempts, and then um, you know a little bit of situational awareness, and then we've got to clean up some tackling. Uh, we had too many missed tackles uh, yesterday, and you know just just some some things with our eyes.